Hi guys, this is Toddy Fool and for today, we're going to try Super Tweeters. Super Tweeters are one of the things Audi Fools argue about. A normal human being can only hear up to 19,000 Hz, while a Super Tweeter produces signals way above that, so why would you want to spend on something you can't really hear? Well, supposedly, a Super Tweeter affects the music holistically, making the music more vivid, the bass more defined, less veil, and you have clear, more resolving mids, and all of the usual buzzwords you hear when you apply snake oil. So let's find out. We're gonna test out an AMT tweeter as well as the Tacket Bat Pure, a specialized tweeter. I love my Tecton speakers, but when I did the Dali Rubicon 2 review, I realized I wanted a bit more sparkle and presence at the top end. So given all the things I heard about them, I thought about adding a super tweeter. I didn't want to spend a thousand pounds on a Townshend super tweeter which may well turn out to be a paperweight. But I did have an 8 ohm AMT tweeter which can go up to 35 kilohertz at least on paper. For these science versus magic debates, my stance is I should at least test it out. At the lowest cost possible. So I use a 1.1 microfarad Ursa cap, which was a leftover from my Zoo Audio Dirty Weekend Clarity Cap upgrade, which had quite the result. Pardon the makeshift baffles, as I didn't want to do anything permanent yet. And my initial tests were quite promising. There was an immediate increase in clarity, and I swear the bass was also affected. It's a bit snappier and it's less rounded. Then further on, I noticed that some of the details were lost, while the cutoff is around 18,000 Hz for the AMT tweeter. There was still some comb filtering going on. That is to say, some of the sounds produced by the tectons were being cancelled off by the super tweeter and vice versa. Measurements using a mini DSP UMIC mic and room EQ wizard with 112 smoothing show this somewhat as the volume is lower from 11 to 17 kilohertz with the Ursa caps. But I did get my slightly better treble and it did make me think that perhaps a different capacitor might work and maybe even a specialized super tweeter. So I got some one microfarad caps and hope it will reduce the comb filtering while still adding to the highs. Unfortunately, while it added some brightness to the tectons, I still felt like some of the sounds were still missing. Measurements show a slight increase overall but a dip in the 12 kHz region. So there's a bit more work to be done experimenting with the position as well as the cap used or maybe it would be just easier to take out the Tecton Center tweeter. For now though, faced with all of the work in front of me, I think I'm done with this approach. Being optimistic, I then bought a super tweeter. This is the Tacket Bat Pure which doesn't need any caps and starts to operate at 20 kHz. I was quite excited with this one and I even got some 3D printed red baffles to go along with it. I connected it to the tectons and listened to some music. And after a while, I was dumbfounded. I couldn't hear any difference. I was expecting to be blown away but instead I was quite disappointed. Putting my ear up close to the Takat Bat Pures, I can't hear anything. Which led me to the question. If I can't hear above 20,000 Hz, how do I even know it works? So I turned to the mini DSP, UMIC mic, and the REW software. Because if it's making noise above 20,000 Hz, surely the machine can detect this. The limit of the UMIC mic is around 24,000 Hz, so while it's not way above 20,000 Hz, I should still be able to see some difference from without using the Tacket Bat Pures. And as you can see in the graph, there's a small increase at the end which means it does work but I'm not hearing anything. So yeah, I think it's a waste of time and money. Will other super tweeters work? Well, there might be some other people who can hear better than me and perhaps they will find a difference. But I've tried the Super Tweeter and I can't hear a difference and I've been audio bold. Super Tweeters work for Batman. My experience may not be the same as yours, so 
if you have the chance, please try it and find out for yourself. But if someone asks me, don't bother. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just write them down below. See you in the next video.